Hello, welcome to One Minute Wiser. This is Christy Bridges, and today we're looking at 1 Thessalonians 5.14. We urge you, brothers and sisters, to warn those who are idle and disruptive, to encourage the disheartened, help the weak, and be patient with everyone. Brian didn't have the standard cognitive abilities, but he had a teacher who listened. His teacher knew that he loved plants, and he helped Brian get a job with a nursery after he graduated. Now, Brian works part-time and feels successful. Teresa can't sit, she can't stand for very long at a time either way, but she learned how to do transcription, mostly using the talk-to-text function on her phone and then going back and editing. She can do that while she's walking, while she's lying down, and she feels successful. Last week was Inclusion Week in the U.S. And we've worked really hard over the last century to begin doing equal pay, equal rights to work for a lot of our citizens. And we have a ways to go. But as consumers, we are still always looking for the lowest prices and the highest stock returns which means that companies who might otherwise be able to think about inclusion for people whose resumes wouldn't naturally rise to the top because of disabilities, I want to challenge you to find a way to help that change. That man who was sitting by the temple when Peter and John said, take up your mat and walk, He'd been there for 40 years. I guarantee his resume didn't rise to the top. Somebody had to help him take care of himself after that and get a job and pay for his way. There are people who want to feel purposeful every day, to feel accomplished at the end of the day. And I think we can help. Write down your ideas in the comments below. Let's get a conversation started. God bless you guys.